Hello everyone and welcome back to another little video on uh, my channel. Tonight is Monday, December 6th, 2021. It is 8.37 p.m. local time here in Southern Illinois or 2.37 UTC. Tonight I want to do just a quick little video with this 8600 to show a feature that is not covered in the manual. It's sort of like a little hidden feature. And it has to do with audio recording. Now you can see right there I have a SanDisk 32 gigabyte memory card in there. And you can back up all your settings with this you know, onto the card. And you can also record what you're listening to. And But there's a little thing in the that hidden hidden feature here on the 8600 that they do not talk about in the manual and it has to do with when you play back a file I just I recorded a couple of files just to uh, demonstrate it and in order to get to that you do menu record play files and this is the folder I've got I've got just two little files in there and usually when you tap it you've got the controls down here and you tap the screen is up but if you don't want to set and tap the screen you can control it with the C with with the C dial and your tuning dial and what it does if you push dial C while you are listening to a recording you can pause the playback if you rotate dial C you can go to the next file or the, the one after it or the one before it and if you rotate the tuning knob you can move back and forth within a file and I'll, I'll show you what it how that is okay let's start the let me get the sound turn up so see I can touch this the play button and start it or I could just push C push it again and pause it now if I rotate dial C it'll jump to the second file that's on there so there's a second file pause it and now if I rotate the tuning knob here it'll kind of jump forward or back whatever you want to do so let me do that we'll unpause it turn the tuning knob and they do not mention this feature in the owner's manual I just came across it one day when I was playing around with the recordings and I thought well that's pretty cool maybe I'll do a little video on that and kind of share that and uh, but yeah it's a little hidden hidden feature in the ICOM 8600 and if you have this receiver and you don't want to keep tapping the screen when you after you've done recordings just use dial C and the tuning knob and again while you're while you are listening to a recording if you push push dial C you can pause and play if you rotate dial C, you go to the previous or the next file that you have recorded. And if you rotate the tuning knob while you're listening, you can kind of fast scan forward or backwards. And that's that's pretty cool, you know. Some some may like to use the dial, some like to use the touch screen. I just thought I would make a little video on it. So if you have the 8600, um, you know, you have a choice and you can uh, decide which one you want to use so thanks everyone for watching and uh, I'm going to do some 
listening here, scan the bands for a little bit, tune around, see what's on. Last night we had a big lightning storm, a tornado came through the town about six miles from me, done some damage, and I had my all my stuff unhooked and everything, so tonight I'm everything's quiet again, so I'm going to do some listening, so take care everyone, and I hope everyone has good listening conditions, and I'll see you on the next one.